Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make handles today, um, specifically how to pull a handle. And there are many different types of handles that you guys can um, make. So there are examples that I'll pass out on your table to look at. You don't have to add a handle, especially if you're doing a tumbler. The tumbler has a tapered or narrowed in end, so it fits your hand well. If you have a big wide cup like this, that's uncomfortable to hold. Also, the reason we have handles is to keep our hands away from the hot liquid. Um, so it's your, up to you if you wanna add a handle, but if you have a mug form, I really recommend you do that. So when we add handles, we do it at the leather hard stage. The clay is wet, so the most important part about adding a handle is after you slip and score the, le the handle, the wet handle under the leather, leather hard clay, you need to spray it with water and wrap it in a plastic bag at least overnight. So the leather hard clay already shrank and the wet clay didn't. So if you just stick it in the kiln room, it'll either come apart right before firing or during firing. The other thing to consider is how comfortable the handle is. So I'll pass some of these around. So this one is a little far away from the mug and it's a little thick. So feel it in your hand. Okay, and how does it feel? Do you think it would be comfortable to turn in your hand? This mug is done with a marbling technique that you're gonna to learn tomorrow. Try not to drop them. Okay, this was bought at a store. So it was thrown on the, um, the wheel and then the handle was made. So it's a handmade mug bought at a store. And notice the difference between that handle and this handle. Pass it around. This one was made in a factory. So they take liquid slip and they pour it in a mold. And this handle's hollow. Okay, this is one at a, a bisque one that you can buy at a store like those paint your own pottery stores and paint it and they're ready to go. This is low temperature, so this is store bought. I think it even says China on the bottom. So get a feel for that handle. Um, also, it's important that your handle doesn't go above the rim. Okay, now if you wanna make a decorative one, that's fine, but if you put the handle above the rim of the cup and you go to put it in the dishwasher, more chance it'll break. And then also we have something called ergonomics, how things fail in your hand. And if you have a handle go above the rim, that can be uncomfortable too. You guys can just set them on the table once you're done passing them around. So the tumbler can have a handle. This handle didn't finish, they, they stopped it. You could do something creative like that, but you're not required to make a handle. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So when you make a handle, you need your leather hard cup and it needs to be ready to go. All smoothed out, all trimmed like I showed you how to do, all ready to go. If it's past leather hard, almost to bone dry, you can't add a handle, okay? So if it's really floppy and wet, you wouldn't be able to put the handle on, you'll see why in a sec. And if it's too dry, you can't put the handle on because it will separate. So you want a nice leather hard cup with a smooth, even rim, a bucket of water, slip, and clay. The clay needs to be nice soft clay. So when you're getting the clay um, out of the green bin or at the fresh clay, make sure it's really nice and soft. So it um, depends on how big. If I was doing this for a pitcher, I would need more clay. But I would say about just a handful of clay. And then what you do to start is you kind of roll it into a sausage shape. Hot dog kind of sausage shape like this. Then what you're gonna do, if you can't see, get in the spot you're gonna see, is you literally will take the end of it and you're gonna slap it on the table a few times and turn it to kind of flatten it into shape. Like that. Okay, so we're gonna hold with your non-dominant hand, mine's my left hand, over the bucket of water. You're gonna get both hands, I mean your right hand wet, obviously if you're left handed it's opposite. You're gonna make kind of this shape not a round shape, and you're going to take it and you're gonna gently pull on it. And you need the bucket of water because it'll stretch it. I wasn't kidding, it's early, so you're not giggling, but it looks gross, right? So you turn it and pull it. The reason we do this is because it will be really flexible. You're adding a lot of moisture to it. If you just rolled out a coil and bent it, it's gonna crack and it's gonna be uncomfortable. So when you pull a handle, you're adding a lot of moisture to it and making it nice and smooth. Now, you don't want it round. So that's why we made this kind of shape with our hand. And you don't want it too thick. So I'm pulling, and when I get to the base, I kind of release so I don't pull it off. 
It's common for you to pull it off. I've done many handles. See, there we go, I did that on purpose. No, I didn't, it was an accident. Okay, um, but I've done many handles, so this is easy for me, but I can definitely help you with it. So you want it more flat with round edges. So if you look at it, it's kind of flat with round edges, it's not a coil. Okay, that's long enough for my cup. Then what you'll do is you can take your needle tool or your scoring tool and you're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle. Okay, then I'm going to put my hand in my leather hard cup, my other hand, my left hand, and I'm gonna find a good spot. I think the best spot is the seam where you put your cup together and then you're going to turn it upside down and hold it with your thumb and fold it over and you're gonna test it. Okay, and what I mean by test it is, is it above the rim? Oops, it fell, I'm trying to show it on the video camera. So is it above the rim and can my hand fit in it? And remember our clay shrinks 11 to 14%, so you have to allow for shrinking. So you might need to adjust it to see if your hand can fit in it. So right now, I'm just measuring. Okay, then I'm gonna take my handle off and I need to slip and score it. If you don't slip and score it, it will not stay. If your slip is drying out, you can just get a little water and add water to it. So I'm gonna slip and score, where's that seam? Where I'm gonna be basically be putting the handle. So I don't necessarily need to add slip to the handle, but I do need to score it. So I score the big wide area, the surface area, and then I score underneath. Okay, so again, hand in the cup, hold it upside down like this. Don't put it end to end. There's not enough surface area and your handle won't stick. So we have this big wide area with surface area. That's what goes here. I push down with my thumb. Now I wanna make sure it's straight. That's why I'm holding it upside down like this. So I make sure it's straight. And then if I have extra clay, you can just pinch that off. And then again, I'm gonna double check to make sure that it looks good and my hand fits in it. All right, now you're gonna attach. So some artists take a stamp, some artists just do what I'm doing. You wanna smooth the inside too. If you have design, you can always go get that stamp again and add design to it. So now I can check that it's not crooked, make sure it's straight, look from different angles. And then I do need to put some clay in this top part right here. So the best way to do that is to just roll a little ball of clay and flatten it a little bit. And it's perfect because it'll fit your thumb if this is a cup for you, okay? And then take that, and you don't have to worry about slipping and scoring it, it's so sticky. And you're gonna smear that between the rim of the cup and the handle so that you don't have that big hole. There's a little hole or crack in there. So it's really important that you guys smear that you wanna smooth this a lot. I'm not gonna take the time and make you watch me smooth this whole thing, but you wanna do a lot of smoothing. Then you need to take a spray bottle, spray it inside and out, wrap it in a plastic bag, and put it back to store. And then the next day you can put it in the kiln room to fire. So again, you're not required to make a handle, but if you want to, this is the method.